You know, Jonathan Bender is kind of the poster child. He's the guy that everybody says. You know, he's the one guy. It's like the like the say like saying, well, you don't have to have a great quarterback to win a Super Bowl. Look at Trent Dilfer. Well, there's your one guy, you know, and I know a lot of guys didn't pan out uh, that went over to the pros in the NBA right out of high school. But the difference is the NBA was pushing these guys onto the floor in the main stage of the NBA right out of high school. I know the NBDL was there, but the, the stars coming out of high school weren't going to the developmental league. They were going right to the NBA. And what all I'm talking about doing essentially would be take the exact same setup almost that you have in college football but just make it a minor league program instead eliminate the schools i mean it would be same players it would be on tv every saturday just eliminate the schools out of the system and it but but i do see what you're saying um i but i i feel like i feel like the nba product today is as good as it's ever been uh possibly better if you go look at, at some highlights from 20 years ago when we all loved it um, and then look at what's happening today, you'll see a noticeable difference in quality, athleticism, talent. Um, you know, guys can dribble with two hands now. It's, it's impressive. It really is. But, uh, you know, I, I see what you're saying. And, and a lot of this falls on, uh, you know, the agents that are getting in kids' ears and saying you're ready before they were ready. You know, like, I, I, that's not what I'm talking about doing. I'm not talking about taking high school kids and bumping them into the NFL. You know what I'm saying? I understand yeah. where you're. I understand where you're coming from. I understand, but at the same time, I, I, I think that the reality is trying to make everything work out the way that it could work out with with human beings yeah. involved yeah. tends to turn into a a almost almost a Stepford Wives version <laughs> of of the reality. Things are going to be ugly no matter what. Yeah, it's, but, but what I worry about with the NFL, and I know you think NBA quality is great. That's terrific. The individual players that play are. There are some who who put. You know, my favorite player was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Dwight, Sh- Dwight Howard is so much more entertaining. I still love Kareem, yeah. but Dwight Howard is so much more entertaining. Yeah, and he's got like 130 pounds on Kareem. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> having said that. I really feel like that when you look at when you look at the NBA back when you know, I'm 39, back in the 80s, 70s, 80s, even the early 90s, yeah. versus now, you can't use the NBA as an example of how you're supposed to play the game anymore, because I feel that there are so many things in which you have people just one note. You know, yeah, can they dribble with both hands? Yeah, but it's all about individual performance. I don't see the team game being played unless you talk about stop it, pull it up, work this around. It, it's it's like, I don't know, it's it's like elevator music to me. You don't get any variety. You don't get any of, of the, you don't get any of this innovation anymore. Caller, I'm, real quick, I'm, and I, I, I love what you said about the NBA, because for, <coughs> excuse me, a number of years I stopped watching. I started watching it a couple years ago. I'm a little more into it now. Uh, than I was uh, just a few years back, but it's either if if you can't hit the three or you can't throw it down, then mm-hmm. then there's a problem. The art of the mid range jump shot is completely gone. But I still enjoy the product more than I did. I'm 51 and I'm I go back to Maravich and those kind of days, and those days are long gone. See, I think you guys, I think that this, I think that this idea that that you can't shoot anymore and that the team game is gone, that it's all about the individual. I think that this is carryover from post-Michael Jordan days because these are all the same arguments I've been hearing for 15 years. It's the same exact thing. And it's not like that anymore. It's just not. Look at the Dallas Mavericks last year. Dirk Nowitzki didn't win that title by himself. They played as a team. The Lakers, there's the two years... There's your exception. The, the Lakers, the two years before that... You know, look at them. They, they team game. Kobe was the star, but they won as a team. And listen, yeah, there are going to be teams that center on one guy. But I mean, geez, look at Jimmer Fredette in college. It's not just the NBA; it's the college too. If if you only have one good player, then that's what you have. You know what I mean? But if you've got a team, then you're fine. Look at San Antonio when they won. Uh, Detroit when they won. Look, teams still prevail in the NBA, and team games still exists it happens you know it's it's a broad generalization it's a it's an outdated generalization and it's it's just not the fact anymore but caller we call appreciate it we have to go to a break uh, against the bill was a great call yep hope to hope to hear from you again soon good call for sure um 
You know what? Maybe a little more on this when we get back. We've got some NFL stuff to get to, but this is fun. Yeah. So uh, maybe we'll do this more when we get back. Don't go anywhere. Sports 101. When it comes to instruction in the 